Good morning guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm just taking out my heatless curls. This one is from Hairburst and honestly, it is a lifesaver. Um, with my hair being quite fine and obviously I've like bleached it a lot, um, I can't afford to use heat on it every single day. And yeah, in all honesty as well, I can't be bothered to do my hair every day. Gosh guys, it's been a real um, start to the week. I went horse riding on Tuesday after work and um horse riding is like my favorite time of the week i love it so much it makes me so happy um and i was doing and i was doing a course of jumps and it was about 4 35 i think so no it was five o'clock so it was pitch black basically so we put the floodlights on in the arena so you know when you're in a lit area you can only see what's lit and you can't see beyond that it was also pouring with rain and a woman came kind of out the darkness with this massive black umbrella i went over the jump i saw the woman even it even made me jump the horse completely spooked and just threw me off i went over head first um but anyway like i flipped and then i landed really hard on my side um uh, luckily i was wearing a body protector and i'm so so grateful that i was because i definitely would have like hurt my ribs or something if i hadn't anyway i was on the floor it felt like i was on the floor for ages because i was like oh my god this hurts so much i got up and i was in so much pain made sure i got straight back on the horse i knew i couldn't continue riding so i just like walked slowly around the school anyway finished up untacked did all of that got into my car as soon as i got into the car i just burst out crying i went into like complete shock when i was younger i used to ride these crazy ponies or x race horses so naturally i used to fall off all the time like these horses were slightly unhinged but that was when i was a teenager and i've never fallen off as an adult I ride all the way home cried while I was pouring myself a glass of wine, cried in the bath. I, I was crying because I was in a lot of pain, but also just, I don't know, yeah, I was just in shock. Hey Pippin, do you want to say hello to camera? Oh, you're so cute. Anyway, I'm just very, very grateful that I didn't break anything and it could have been a lot worse. Um, but I'm in so much pain still. I just happened two days ago and oh my goodness, like I'm struggling to walk, I'm on a lot of painkillers and um, I'm incredibly bruised as well. Um, all up my side is like black and it's kind of gross i need to show you pip right now because she's being a right nuisance look at her look she's trying to get into my pocket yeah i've woken up today though feeling so much better so i feel like today's going to be a good day but i also just thought i'd show you guys some of the things i do when i'm feeling not myself or down or emotional to make myself feel better and just really look after myself um because i know that all of us can relate to that like you know we all have our bad weeks our bad months Pippin, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, those are the times where we need to fill up our own glass and look after ourselves so we can give more to others and just be a better person in general. Good evening, guys. Oh, wow, my forehead is so shiny. I've had this makeup on since this morning. Also, let's just not even talk about the fake tan on my hand. I used a different one last night and I just spritzed it on there and I didn't rub it in. I thought that'd be fine. It obviously wasn't fine. Anyway, I've just finished work. It's around eight o'clock and... I know I said it was going to be a good day. It was an okay day. I've, I'm still like really stressed though. Um, if I'm overthinking things, I think I'm more stressful than usual. But yeah, I'm definitely in need of like some me time and um, and just like a bit of a reset. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. I've also got a pounding headache. Oh my god. So I really just want to get my stuff together relax and have a nice evening and i'm going to show you guys what i do to unwind first things first i need to sort out my room i need to put away any clothes i've been shooting tidy close the curtains get the bed ready um put on a candle that kind of thing so um i'll be on a time lapse
Um, I'm gonna have a shower. I'm gonna have a proper shower where I exfoliate, shave, moisturize, gua as well. Gua sha, oh my God, please ignore. To be fair, it doesn't look like that. In real life, my tan doesn't look that bad. But on camera, it looks horrific. Um, actually, I lie, it does look horrific at the side. <gasps> That's really embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna just grab my hands as well. Um, I'm also gonna gua sha. I stopped gua sha because I lost my gua sha. Um, how many times do I wanna say the word? Um, and I instantly lost definition in my jaw. So um, I've picked it up again and I've already seen differences. But yeah, it's one of those things that you don't feel like it works until you stop using it and then you realize. Anyway, I'm gonna jump in the shower so I'll see you guys afterwards. I wanted to go through my like hair removal shaving kind of routine um, I don't feel like I've ever really spoken about it online and I've honestly got this routine down to a T whatever you like to do with your body hair completely up to you but personally I like to feel like a dolphin I'm basically like a hairless cat and that's just how that's just what gives me the most confidence that's how i like to feel as weird as it sounds like with my legs i just love them to be really soft it makes me happy so this morning i'm gonna go through my routine with you guys so in this part of the video i'm working with current body who have produced this little laser hair removal device tool called smooth skin so as you might remember i used to get um laser hair removal done at a clinic and I had really great results. I think my hair went from being like quite thick. Like my hair on my head, it's fine. On my body, it is thick. Like too much information I know, but it's thick. Um, and that really helped get my hair from thick to very, very fine. I saw a, a really good reduction in the amount of hair. But the only thing is, if you don't continue getting the sessions, your hair does slowly go back. So you do have to continue the sessions, which is fine but with me and my like, busy schedule i find it really hard fitting it in especially because i've got to fit it in around my tanning routine because you can't laser with tan and that sounds like a very simple issue i know honestly i ended up just kind of accidentally stopping my treatment and my hair grew back not as it was but it definitely grew back so when current body reached out to send me their smooth skin laser i I was really keen. I think I mentioned to you guys ages ago, I tried another at home laser tool and it gave results, but I didn't like the experience. Like it didn't feel luxury or premium. It wasn't like, it wasn't like an easy process to do. So that's why I never recommended it to you. I said, I try this and it's a completely different experience. And I thought I'd just, yeah, show you guys how I do it. I talk about the results and yeah, tell you guys why. I actually really love it so much. For laser, you have to prep your skin really well. You have to have no fake tan on, so I will exfoliate really well. My favorite exfoliator ever is, where is it? It's this one here. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate. This is for your body. It makes, it's just, it's a chemical and a physical exfoliant in one. It takes off all your tan. It makes your skin feel amazing. And you almost have like a fresh layer of skin. And then I will shave. So you have to shave before you laser because the hair has to be like in an active growth cycle. Oh, hello Opal in the background. Um, so I use my estrid razors. These are the best female razors. I used to use men's razors because women's razors didn't really like give the same result, but these ones do. And obviously they're very pretty as well, which makes me happy. And then once that's all done, then you are ready. So, plug this in. So you turn it on. I use this, oh, this mode here, which is speed mode. And then I put it on the highest setting here, which is that one. So you can either shot it or glide it. I find it easier just to glide. And that way, like it's, it's just less effort basically. So I'm gonna show you. So I've been using this every single week for four weeks now. And I really started seeing differences even after the first session. And now I'm on my fourth session. I feel like my hair has reduced by maybe like 70% or something like that. I use this on my legs, my bikini, my underarm. You can also use it on your face if you want to. And yeah, even though it takes a little bit longer doing it yourself, I it's just nice to do it in the comfort of your own home. Oh, also it doesn't hurt at all. It just feels like a very light kind of like flick. Um, it also feels a little bit warm, but there's literally no pain. So to get the full result, you're supposed to use it for 12 weeks and then you just top it up every one to two months. So I'll have to do a proper check-in with you guys after the full 12 weeks, but so far, 
really good already seeing differences so i would recommend it 100 percent. i think even just having really fine and mostly reduced hair is a game changer because it means that you just don't even get that stubble and my hair also grows back so slowly now i probably shave like maybe once a week okay now i'm all done i'm just gonna use my laura mercier um body cream and just moisturize my legs and i also have a code as well so i'll leave that on the screen and down below in the description and yes that's my weekly treatment done at home now guys and happy happy sunday it was a miserable day earlier but the sun's just come out so it just feels really cozy so i know i said earlier in this video i was going to show you guys some of the things i do to make myself feel better when i'm feeling a bit down uh if i'm overwhelmed or just need some self-care and some me time i obviously mentioned before that having a clean and tidy space really helps to calm my mind um so this morning i spent two hours completely cleaning gutting the apartment one of my kind of sunday rules is i try and get rid of any clutter so anything that's on any surfaces the bins just like any stuff i try and remove from the surfaces that way the apartment just looks really nice and fresh for a new week and i do all of this whilst listening to a um, uplifting and happy either podcast or an audiobook um in fact let me give you guys some recommendations so i really go off what the vibe is for the day so on sundays i don't necessarily want to feel really motivated like ready to go that's probably more of a monday thing for a monday thing there is a youtube video called the strangest secret by oh i can't remember i'll have a link down below but if you type in the strangest secret it will come up it's such an old clip but everything he's saying is still very relevant and my um life coach who i had last year she recommended it to me and honestly i listen to it all the time there's something about it that is really comforting yet ins inspiring oh my god a podcast i've been listening to recently that i listen to when i'm in a bad mood when i need to be cheered up is the nearly weds podcast it has me in stitches it's just so funny but that's good if you want to laugh um let me find some other bits i also really like on purpose with jay shetty um obviously i think that's like the number one health podcast in the world so it's great and then with books i tend to listen to the same books over and over again and i know i've spoken about all of these before so one of them is you are a badass by jen sincero I haven't read this in years but i just remember always recommending it it's just one of those really brilliant books um for self-help i really love anything by gabrielle bernstein she's great she talks a lot about um law of attraction manifesting get rich lucky bitch that is by uh denise duffield thomas that's about like manifesting and attracting money and finances what else do we have do, do, do. Oh, The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins and Atomic Habits. Those are both really good books for creating new habits and um, and just making yourself more productive and efficient. So yeah, I'd say those are my top ones. Oh, and then The Miracle Morning as well, if you want to get into a good morning routine. Um, but yeah, I listen to all of these on my Audible and I've got a lot downloaded. Um, but yeah, I always think it's nice to listen to something whilst you're doing something else. It just kind of makes your time more effective another thing i really try and do whilst tidying up listening to these podcasts is um i actually listen to them on my tv and i put my phone in the other room because i get distracted by my phone all the time and um and i think it's really nice just to be very focused all you're doing is tidying clearing up then you move on to the next task but yeah for me self-care is so much more than bubble baths and looking out for your exterior it's so much better to look after what's inside i also think we have a tendency to be so hard on ourselves and sometimes just acknowledging that you are allowed to feel certain ways and you don't have to be perfect but as long as you're just as long as you're trying your best and you're becoming even if it's just one percent better every single day then that is absolutely more 
than enough. Apologies if you can hear the dishwasher in the background, um, but I'm just going on to my next little step in my routine, which is to plan the week ahead. This way I feel more organized, it makes me more productive, and it kind of just clears all of those open tabs that are on in my head. So um, what I'll do is, and then I create a to-do list, and in the to-do list there are it's a shoot slash film, small tasks, and then large tasks. For me, small tasks are things that take under 15 minutes, and then the larger tasks are anything above that. And then once I've written all of this out, I will then uh, delegate this into like time blocks in my calendar. I feel like I'm sounding very organised right now. For full transparency, I'm not. I'm actually not that organised. Um, often I'm like a headless chicken unless I do this. So during periods where I am feeling really overwhelmed or stressed or um, just busy times, then I make sure to do this. But I definitely don't do this every Sunday. I think it's important though when you know that you could get burnout to kind of prioritize and make time for planning ahead. Okie dokie, so, oh my goodness guys, can you believe we are in November? I can, I just, I cannot. So first up I put in any like solid things that I have going on, so like meetings um, up here. For example, um, my mum's here all day tomorrow and then Tuesday I'm with Grace all day so I kind of map these things in. Now I've written out all of my to-dos, put it in my calendar, I feel so much clearer. I won't necessarily stick to it but at least I can see everything in front of me. Another um, self-care tip I have is journaling. I was such a good journaler to begin with this year. I literally journaled every single day. Even if I got in from like a night out, I would journal. Um, and then I completely fell off the bandwagon. I don't know what happened. But one of my goals for November was to start journaling again. And I think Sunday's a really good day to journal because um, you can reflect on the previous week and kind of set intentions for the following week. So I normally write myself prompts such as, um, so I'll do my affirmations. Um, that is, I am, I am, I am. Um, so I'll do three of those. Then we do gratitude. I'll do three of those. And I'm gonna write, I want, this week to be and then again put three key points and then finally i'll write down the goals for the week um for example one of my goals this week is going to be to meditate even if it's just five minutes every single day to yeah make myself feel more grounded more peaceful and yeah i mean the benefits of meditation are endless so um that's gonna be one of them but also as well in affirmations you can kind of write things that you want to be and by saying that you are it already it kind of helps trick the brain into helping you become that quicker for example if you want to be more organized you can say i am highly efficient organized and productive um sorry i know the light is terrible on me right now right i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea because to be honest for me the ultimate form of self-care it's a cup of tea. I've said this a million times before, but there's something about the warm, um, like comforting feeling of tea that just makes me feel like I'm in my safe little bubble and I just love it. One of my favorite teas of all time is still from Teas London. I don't know why I'm showing you, but <laughs> this is, it's just a tea bag. Um, but this is their rose tea. Oh my God, it's just so lovely. Okay, and I'm gonna sit here with my cup of tea that is very precariously balanced. And I'm gonna make my November vision board. Vision boards are something that always puts me into a better mood for some reason. Like it almost makes me feel really excited for the future because I'm looking at things that inspire me, that I want. So it's a really great way of raising your vibration. I've actually got a video on how I make vision boards, which is very old now, I think, but I'll put it down below anyway. I always do a big one at the beginning of the year to set the year's intentions, but that doesn't mean you can't do them for the month, for the week. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little November one. Okay, so I haven't finished it, but here's a little look into what I have so far. Just really cosy autumnal vibes. Um, I also put this little quote in, which says, life is a collection of moments, um, which I thought was really cute. Um, 
I've got some like little interior bits here, um, a picture of somebody with some keys, so I'm really manifesting <laughs> this move. Some self care, and I'll probably add in some like more personal things as well. So maybe like any financial goals that I have, or like growth goals, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna finish doing this, and then I'm going to order myself a nice takeaway. I'm feeling like a maybe like a tie or something. But yeah, I'm so glad that I filmed this video with you guys because honestly, I feel um so so much better compared to earlier this week also my leg has stopped hurting so that's really positive i also guys apartment update because i feel like i have to update you all even though there really isn't much to update you all on our landlord asked if he wanted to renew the lease again i can't remember if i said it or not but the rent for this place is honestly extortionate and i really just can't justify spending another month here so i said i wasn't going to renew the lease so that means basically we're gonna have to get the keys this week and i know i say that every week but we have no choice because i'm not renewing the lease so that's kind of my way of manifesting it i guess and if i don't get them this week then i've really really messed up and i don't know what we're gonna do so we shall see the saga continues but yeah i really hope next time i vlog i've got some really good news for you guys but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm wishing you all a fabulous week and I will see you next time. Bye. I didn't say I love you. I love you so, so, so much. Bye.